Welcome to MCC Running Tigers Basketball. to the MCC Tigers. Matt Knoll to inbound. He inbounds to DeAndre Harris. DeAndre will bring it up top to set up the offense. Back to Knoll, back to Harris. Over to Evans, back to Harris. To Knoll, looking for Kruzic. Back to Harris. Harris and Knoll playing a little catch out top. Harris penetrates to Evans. Evans takes the baseline jumper and drains it. Two points for Josh Evans, the freshman from Newton. MCC comes out in the press, and Al you Iowa Western's first two point comes on an Al Ute play. Harris to Noel. Harris throws it right into Iowa Western, brings it up. Evans knocks it away. and looking inside. We have a turnover going MCC's way. Kruzic from the corner for three. Assist by Noel. Iowa Western bringing it up. We do not have a roster for Iowa Western right at this moment. Evans, 32 outside. He's short on the three. Rebound. Have loose ball, it's our Western's way. Thirty-four takes a short jumper, short. Aubrey and Wright comes up with the rebound, gives it to Harris, and Harris pushes it up the floor. Inside to Noel. Noel to Evans, back to Noel, back to Harris. Noel and Harris passing it around. Iowa Western sitting in a zone. Evans in the corner. To Harris. To Kruzic. 
to Evans. Evans from the corner drains a three. Number 24, Josh Evans, a 6'3 freshman from Newton, gets his first five points off a two pointer and a three pointer. Inside, Farrah Western working on DeAndre Harris. Turn around baseline, jumpers, good. Harris will bring it up for MCC. Kruzik for, for two. They say he was on the line. Main scorer so far tonight for MCC is John Kruzik, number 31, a 6'6 freshman from Ankeny, and Josh Evans, a 6'3 freshman from Newton. Iowa Western working against MCC's man-to-man. Josh -man. Evans comes up with a steal. John Krusik for another three. Two threes for Krusik and a three for Evans. Puts MCC up 13 to four in the first three minutes of play. After the Iowa, Cent Iowa Western timeout, we now have a roster for Iowa Western. We have 44. It's an inbounds. That's Rich Mose. <laughs> a little problem with the PA system here. 32 to 34. No one had. Takes the shot. Aubrey and Wright takes it to the holes, gets his first two of the night. We have number 12, D Dwight Her Davis. We have an Iowa Western turnaround, turnover. We're going to MCC's way. Nolan bounds to Harris. Harris brings it up. Aubrey and Wright now takes the point. Aubrey's a 6'3 sophomore forward from Alexandra, Louisiana. Harris to Noel. Harris works, drives, hits the corner, rebounded by Iowa Western. We have an MCC foul. Ryan Johnson checks in for the MCC Tigers. And Matt Thomas for Iowa Western checks in. For MCC, we have Evans, Wright, Johnson, Harris, and Noel. Harris picks up his second rather quickly. Chad Hook checks in for DeAndre Harris. Hook's a 6'1 guard from Cedar Rapids. He's a freshman. Art Robinson has the ball. He gives it up to Davis. Davis back to Robinson. Working on Cat. Evans comes up with the rebound. Hook pushes it forwards to right. Arian pulls up, gets it into Cat. Cat takes it to the hole for his first two. Ryan Johnson's really strong when he gets in there on the post. 
Robinson to Davis. We have two Davises on the floor for Iowa Western. Davis is short. Robinson puts it up. He misses it. Two Iowa Western players fighting for it and gets the tip in. Aubrian to Noel. Noel looking for Aubrian right inside. Aubrian loses it, gets it back. Chad Hook and Davis fight over it. Goes out of bounds, it stays MCC ball. Matt Noel comes out as Floyd Hall checks in for the Tigers. Hole inbounds to Aubrey and Wright. Wright will work the ball around, gives it to Hook. Hook gives it to Johnston. Johnston trying to find some place to go, gives it to Aubrey and Wright. Back to Johnston. Johnston for the baseline turnaround, no good. Evans gets the rebound and put back. <laughs> Evans is scoring big tonight for the Tigers. We have Dwight Davis will bring it up. Give it up to Matt Thompson. Turn around, short, wanted a foul there for 34. Art Robinson, hook, drives in, gives it to Johnson. Johnson to Hull for three. Hits the back of the iron. No Tigers to rebound. Robinson to Davis. Mavesery for three, way deep. Aubrey and working the offense right now, gives it to Hook. Hook looking for a place to go. Gives it to Aubrey and on penetration. Aubrey and looking for Johnson. Johnson, good turnaround move. Oh, they call an offensive foul on it. Ryan Johnson, Ryan picks up his first foul. Ryan Johnson is a 6'8 sophomore from Marshalltown. Johnson signed preseason to play next season Division I at Illinois. MCC in a press. We've got three fresh guys in for MCC. 20, Matt Knoll. He's playing Dwight Davis. Lawrence Snodgrass, he's on Matt Thompson. And Scott Oldfield, 34, he's playing Art Robinson. As Mavzare drives in, they're gonna get Scott Oldfield for a travel. I say he took one too many steps on that catch and spot up. <clears throat> Rich Mavzare will inbounds. He'll get the ball back. Wait for Dwight Davis to bring it up. Robinson puts a move on. They call him for travel. Turnovers have just been devastating for the Iowa Western in this first part of the ball game. Scott Ophel brings the ball up, gives it up to Hook on the baseline. Hook will drive baseline. Find Matt Knoll. Finds Lawrence. Lawrence takes it up strong. Could have been fouled. Misses everything. Robinson brings it down. Takes it all the way, drives in. Scott's right there, so Cat's right there. They say Ryan fouled him. That's Ryan's second. Mike didn't like the call. He's working the officials early tonight. Ryan Johnson fouled number 32. Econ Davis, he goes to the line.
misses the first one, but gets the second one. Noel to Oldfield. Oldfield pushes it up the floor for the Tigers. MCC Tigers returning to action after two big losses to Indian Hills and Kirkwood in this past week. Noel drives in and gets the foul. Foul's called on 54. Neil Allen for Iowa Western. That's his first and team first. Hook takes a three, bounces long. Ryan Johnson comes down with it. Matt Noel take the three and hit it. Pressure put on, on by the MCC Tigers. Iowa Western not really having a big problem with it yet. MCC's in a man-to-man -man defense. Number 50 gets the short little pass inside. Short little shot, no good. Hook to Snodgrass. Snodgrass to Johnson. Johnson rejected. Hook for three. In and out, Lawrence rebounds. Lawrence Snodgrass is a rebounding force inside for the Tigers. Hook looking for somebody, finds Noel, finds, who finds Oldfield, to Snodgrass, to Noel. Noel gets the roll on the three, two straight threes for Matt Noel. Iowa Western had no problem with the press that time. Nice little up and over for 32 Econ Davis. Oldfield to Snodgrass. Snodgrass to Hook. Hook to Noel. Noel for three. Snodgrass gets the rebound. Tigers will set it back up. Oldfield running the point for the Tigers. Finds Hook. Hook goes inside to Oldfield, back out. Snidegrass to Noel. Noel inside to Johnson. Johnson turnaround jumpers, good. <laughs> Lawrence intercepts the pass from Jeremy Price. Finds Matt Noel on baseline for a short jumper. Two for Noel. Ira Western wants another timeout. Aubrey and Wright, John Kruzik, and Dan Berger will check in for the Tigers. Tigers come out of their huddle after the timeout taken by Iron Western. A reminder, the MCC women's will be in action Monday night in a women-only game against Graceland's JV. The MCC Lady Tigers are nationally ranked number nine in the recent coaches poll. They had a tough two-point loss to Kirkwood last week. Look to get back on the winning track, as so do the Tigers. Lawrence comes up with the steal to Noel, to Snodgrass. Snodgrass will take it in. They call a charge on Lawrence. Lawrence Snodgrass, first foul. Lawrence is a 6'4 sophomore transfer from Toledo, Ohio. Press applied by the Tigers. Iowa Western breaks it. They work the ball around. Inside to Robertson. Turnaround jumper. Scores over Kruzik. 
Aubrey will bring up the ball for the Tigers. Finds Kruzik open on the wing. Now Lawrence on the wing. Kruzik almost lost it, recovered. Now he loses it. Robinson with the steal. Gives it up to Davis. Davis tries to drive on Aubrey on Aubrey and Wright picks up his first foul. 6'3 sophomore. Now Mike Tyson, Mike Marquess <laughs> takes a timeout for the MCC Running Tigers. Two, Econ Davis has two free throws coming after the shooting foul called on Aubrey and Wright. Or is oh, it was one basket was good. Wright brings the ball up the court for the Tigers. Now Noel. To Kruzik back to Noel to Lawrence. Lawrence finds Bergeron. Bergeron drives baseline, rejected. Pushed up the floor by Iowa Western. 50 hangs with it. That's Rob Rand Radby. Noel loses the pass out of bounds. A little bit too strong. Robinson brings the ball up on the press. Finds Davis. Davis working the point for Iowa Western. Dan Bergen picks up his first. Dan Bergen's a 6'3 freshman from La Grande. Played East Marshall under his dad. His dad's the coach. Mike really does not like this officiating crew tonight. He's working them. And Mike Marquest just got his first technical. And he's not giving them a break. We might see another one. He keeps working them. I believe that's the first technical on Mike Marquest all season. At least one I've seen. Number 50, Rob Brandy, shooting free throws on the foul. Now shooting free throws on the technical is 34, Art Robinson. Mike still working the officials. Hits the first one, misses the second one. Iowa Western ball at half court. <laughs> Foul on Aubrey and Wright. His second. I believe team 11th foul. Iowa Western has one team foul with 7.54 remaining on the clock. Ryan Johnson checks back in. He replaces John Kruzik.
32, Econ Davis is at the line. Ryan Johnson comes up with the rebound and gives it to Matt Noel. Matt Noel pushes it forward. His pass is deflected. Berger and Hustle's on the floor to get it back. Noel's short little free throw jumper short. Cat Evans fight over it. Cat gets it, puts it up, and loses it. Iowa Western pushes it the other way. Robinson, easy two under hoop, underneath all alone. Noel brings it up for the Tigers. To Evans. They're looking inside. Aubryan to Johnson. Johnson takes it up strong for two. <coughs> Isle Western is pulled within 10 points now. Robertson trying to do a little fancy dribble and loses it, gives it to Davis. Davis turn around inside jumper, short. Aubrey on rebounds, gives it to Noel. Tigers push it up the floor. Not running the ball as aggressively as they were. Bergeron for three, short, and it goes out of bounds. They've got two fresh players coming in for the Tigers. DeAndre Harris, number 14. DeAndre's a six foot goal out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And Scott Oldfield is a 6'6 sophomore from Sydney, Australia. He played high school ball in Des Moines. Iowa Western breaks the press rather re easily. Davis working on Harris. Harris deflects the ball, comes up with it, pushes it up the court, gives it to Oldfield. Oldfield to Johnson. Johnson looks back to Oldfield. D Harris will pull it up and set up the offense. Inside to Johnson, he loses the handle on it. Iowa Western pushes it the other way. Moves the right, way downtown, hits nothing but back of iron. Davis gets the rebound and put back. Tigers working their offense around Ofield for three, no good. Rebounded by Davis, pushes ahead. DeAndre kicks it. And for the Tigers, 6'4", sophomore Lawrence Snodgrass. Davis, working against Cat, turns around and shoots right over him. Harris will bring the ball up for the Tigers with five minutes remaining in the first half. 31 to 25, Tiger lead. Tigers looking to get it inside. Open something up. Uh, Western sitting in a zone, packing it inside. Evans for three. Goes long, Lawrence and Johnson fights over it. Lawrence takes it up strong and finally we get another foul on Iowa Western, second team foul. Forty-four. Rich Murray gets his first. At second, team foul on Iowa Western. The Tigers have eight team fouls. Lawrence at the line. First one rolls in and out. Second one's good for Lawrence. Tigers apply the press. Thompson gives it to Davis. Davis will set up the offense. Thompson inside to Robinson. Robinson over Cat. Says Lawrence knocked it out of bounds on the scrap for the rebound. <laughs> okay. 
Evans to flex it right to Cat. Cat gives it to Harris. Harris will push it up the floor. Finds Bergeron in the corner baseline. It's nothing but net. Only a two pointer was inside the line. Davis will bring it up for Iowa Western on the press. Econ Davis for three, goes long. Evans comes up with it on the scrap for the rebound, gives it to Harris. Harris pushes it forward, finds Bergeron. Bergeron for three. Dan Bergeron, a 6'3 freshman from LaGrande, Iowa, nails his first three-pointer of tonight's ball game. Uh, Western setting up their offense, trying to run something. Passing it around, looking, look inside. Move her. Mogsrail up and over. Bergeron goes long, comes down with the rebound. Tigers going the other way. Give it to Bergeron on the baseline. Looked like he was fouled because he airballed the shot. Davis pulls it up and gives it to Thomas. Thompson to Mivere, who just throws it up from anywhere behind the three-point line. Misses long. DeAndre Harris comes down with it and pushes it forward for the Tigers. Running the offense for the Tigers. Johnson inside. Little short little turn hook shot. Good for Johnson. Tigers come out and impress. Iowa Western throws it long. Alley oop. Robinson to Econ Davis. Tigers don't look like themselves tonight. They look a little tired, flat, not ready to play. Working the offense. DeAndre will pull up for three. Nothing. Grabs nothing at all. Total air ball. 31, John Kruzik and number 20, Matt Nolchek back in. Josh Evans and Dan Bergen comes out. Floyd Hall comes in for DeAndre Harris. In for Iowa Western is Neil Allen, 54. And number 50, Rob Ratty. Working against Kruzik, takes it in. Cat rebounds it. Brings it down. Gives it to Noel. Noel pushes it forward for the Tigers. Working the outside, trying to get something open on the inside. Kruzik will take a three. Floyd Hall tried to rebound it. He's going to pick up Davis. Cat. Mike thought the guy stepped out of bounds as he went toward the bench. Floyd pushes it forward for the Tigers, gives it to Noel. Notes, Noel's shot is flat, hits iron. Davis pushes it forward. Oh, turnaround jumper for Rob Rainey is good over Matt Noel. It's a 10 point ball game with less than a minute to play. The Tigers ahead, gives it to Lawrence inside who finds Hull outside. Noel thought about the shot, give it to Kruzik. Tigers moving the ball around pretty quick, looking for the open man, trying to get it inside to Cat. Noel at the top of the key comes up short. And Iowa Western's got the rebound. They're gonna work for the last shot. We've got a two second shot difference on the shot clock and game clock. Iowa uh, Western looking for the one shot. That's Neil Allen with the ball who loses it to Floyd Hall. Pushes it up to Noel. Noel takes it in. Oh, Lawrence came in for the jam and missed it on Floyd's miss and the long shot by Iowa Western's missed. Halftime score of the Tigers, 
MCC Tigers in the Iowa Western Community College is 39 to 29. Tigers ahead by 10. Out! Oh. Stay out! Don't you move. Mommy be right back. Give your cat a break. Child proof your home. We're back. We're ready to start the second half of running Tiger basketball. The Tigers have on the court 20, Matt Knoll, 14, DeAndre Harris, 24, Josh Evans, 41, Aubrey on right, 54. 54 is Ryan Johnson. They call him Big Cat. We had a clock problem. Now we have another problem. I believe it's technical problems. MCC scoring for the first half, we had Matt Knoll with eight. Ryan Johnson also had eight. Lawrence Snodgrass had one. Aubrey and Wright had two. Josh Evans and Dan Bergeron had five. And John Kruzik leads all with 10 points. Now we're ready to go. Not sure what the problem was, but we're in action. Starting for Iowa Western is Davis, 12, 34, Robinson, 32, Davis, 54, Allen, and 44, Mose. Davis against Cat. Cat rejects him. They call a jump ball. Iowa Western keeps the ball. Davis tried to drive baseline. Cat stayed right with him, and they were called for a jump ball. Uh, Western now backs it out and sets up their offense. MCC has now switched to a zone. Davis takes a three-pointer, bounces long. He falls down on the shot after the shot attempt. The bounce is out of bounds. Davis tried to rebound it. Noel inbounds to Harris, gives it up to Wright. Wright brings it up. Iowa Western's man to man. Tigers working the ball around, trying to get it inside. Evans, free throw, nothing but net. Going the other way, we have Davis pushing the ball, gives it up to Robinson. Robinson to Mose, back to Davis. Robinson steps out for the pass from Davis, drives baseline. Short little jumper is good for Art Robinson, who had seven in the first half. Aubrey on right running the offense for the Tigers. Finds Harris on the wing. All alone, Aubrey and takes it inside. Slapped away by Mose. Stays Tiger ball. Noel to inbounds. Gives it to Evans. Jandre comes out. Evans on the wing for three. It's good. Josh Evan comes out with a hot hand, just like he did in the first half. Uh, Western look, working the ball around on offense. Robinson for three, long rebound. Davis hustles out after it and is called for out of bounds. MCC's ball. 
Avi and Wright will bring it up court, setting up the offense. Finds Harris, Harris drives, short jumper, deflected, Aubrey on rebound and saves. Finds Harris who takes it up. MCC tries to get a press on. Johnson rejects Robinson, or excuse me, that's Davis as he tried to drive baseline. Noel from the corner, no good. Allen rebounds for Iowa Western. Iowa Western wants to slow the game down. Tigers starting to run. Iowa Western working the offense, finds Mose for three. Mose cools down the Tigers by hitting a three. Harris shoots a three. Long rebound to Noel. Noel swings it out and sets it up. Aubrey and Wright looks inside, gets it to Cat. Cat turns baseline. Short J rolls out. Allen rebounds. Iowa Western wants to get a little break going for themselves. Davis tries to take it in. Basket's good. Foul on Aubrey on right. Aubrey on picks up his third foul. First team foul on MCC. Art Robinson is at, or er, Econ Davis is at the free throw line to make a three point play out of it. And he does. Free throw's good. Aubrey brings the ball up for the Tigers. Find Noel on the wing. Evans gives Aubrey on a screen, gives Noel a screen. Working the ball around. Aubrey back on the wing with the ball. Looks, waits for Cat. Cat comes, Aubrey takes his own move. Nice move by Aubrey and Wright, who takes it inside, working on two guys and scores. Alley oop play. Ryan Johnston read it all the way. Comes up with the steal, pushes it forward. Noel gives it to Aubrey and Aubrey and gives it to Harris. Harris gives it to Evans, and we got a foul. We have a first foul on 44. Rich Mar Marze and first team foul. That's second foul on. Rich Mavze, Mavze. First Iowa Western foul. Into the lineup for the Tigers is John Kruzik and Chad Hook. Ryan Johnson and DeAndre Harris will have a seat. Evans at the line, shooting two. First one's good. Second one bounces in. Robinson gives it to Davis, finds Allen inside working against Kruzik. John, Josh Evans comes over for the help out and is called for the foul. Second team foul on Marshalltown. And that is Evans's first team foul. And he goes out of the ball game. Evans is replaced by 42 Lawrence Snodgrass. <laughs> Neil Allen is at the line for Iowa Western. Shooting two. Misses Lawrence Snodgrass with the rebound. Aubrey brings the ball up the court. Chad Hook on the wing with the ball. Finds Noel. Looking inside for the post and for the players posting up. Hook will take the inside jumper and score. 
We got a push little foul on 32 for Iowa Western. Third team foul. And it's on e Econ Davis. It's his first. Second team foul on Iowa Western as he He gives a little push foul to Chad Hook after he, after Chad Hook scored off of him. Kruzic got the ball. Robinson's working on him. Finds Abrion. Wright gives it to Hook. Hook is now guarded by number 50, Rob Randy. Basket by Lawrence. Robinson was hounded by Hook. Hook gets the steal. Tries to hang on to it. Kruzic goes on the floor, gives it to Hook. Hook to Lawrence. It's interrupted. Now we're going the other way in a hurry. The ball's stripped. Kruzic comes up with it, gives it to Hook. Hook's looking to slow it down. Gives it to Aubryon. Aubryon drives in, finds Hook. Hook, nice little underneath layup, doesn't go. Rob Randy for a three, doesn't get it. 34, grabs the rebound. Robinson and Hook fouls him on the rebound. That's Hook's first, team third. Dan Berger, number 30, checks into the lineup for, for Aubrey and Wright will have a seat. <laughs> Foul on Lawrence Snodgrass as he tried to deflect Rob Randy's shot, which he did. They say he got a little bit more of the Randy than he did the ball. That's Lawrence's second personal and team fourth. First free throw is good. Second one short rebound grab by Bergeron who'll bring it up the court himself. Finds Hook on the wing. Hook looks inside to him. Berger and Berger will drive baseline. Kick it out to Kruzic. He'll find Noel in the corner. Back to Kruzic to Hook. Hook on top. Gives it to Noel. Noel finds Berger and finds Lawrence. Lawrence will take the three. Doesn't go. Rebound scramp. And Dan Berger comes up with his second personal foul, team fifth. Matt Noel out of the ball game. Floyd Hall, 22, checks in for Marshalltown. Mike is trying to get his team fired up. As Iowa Western has no problem with the press that MCC was applying. Rob Ratty drives around Kruzik. Kruzik turns around after the shot. Randy hits the floor. Ryan Johnson comes in for Kruzik, who picked up his first foul, team six. Marshalltown takes the timeout. Score 54 38. Marshalltown's up.
shooting free throws for Iowa Western after the timeout is Rob Roddy. <coughs> He's got two. We have a problem with Chad Hook's uniform. They're taking Chad Hook out of the ball game. Their ref is taking him out, saying that his uniform is unnecessarily coming untucked. Harris, 14, so DeAndre Harris will come back in. As the first, as the free throw is good for Ratty. They try to put some pressure on Marshalltown and they come up with a steal. <laughs> Rob Ratty comes up with the steal, takes it to the hole and is fouled by Dan Bergeron. Dan's second, team six. Ratty's first free throw is up and good. Ratty's second free throw hits nothing but bottom of the net. DeAndre to Floyd, Floyd back to Harris. Harris brings the ball up. Pressure put on by Al Western, gives it to Hull. Hull gives it to Harris. Harris to Hall, crowd working the officials. Find Snodgrass, Snodgrass to Johnson. Johnson turn around, jumpers no good. Snodgrass comes up with the offensive board. Hall comes up with the ball. Snodgrass for three. It's a little short. Three-pointer by Mavze for Iowa Western. Harris gives it the hole through the double team. Harris running the offense for the Tigers. Finds Bergeron on the wing. Bergeron's looking inside, thinking about shooting it, working the ball around. Lawrence gets the ball, drives baseline, takes it right to the hole. Two for Lawrence Snodgrass. Rod Ratty takes a J, falls down all over Cat on the short J. Harris brings it down, does a little fancy work with the ball, pulls it back out top, setting the offense up for the Tigers. Dan Bergeron will take it right to the hole for two. No one even tried to stop him. Short jumper for number 20, Mike Thompson for Iowa Western. Tigers come up with the ball and pushing it the other way for some offense. Lawrence on the wing gives a screen from Hall. Lawrence finds Bergeron to Johnson inside. Johnson gives it to Bergeron. We have an inside foul on number 34, Art Robinson. His first team, third. Third team foul on Iowa Western. Josh Evan checks in for the Tigers, as so does Aubrey and Wright, who they give the ball to inside. 
nowhere to go. Evans for three. String music by Josh Evans, nothing but net. Evans stays hot. Tigers work on their defense. Robinson comes up with the ball at the point, gives it up to Price, back to Robinson. To Price in the corner, who's hounded by Floyd. Thompson to Price. Price thought about the three, trying to get it inside. They give it to Davis. David plows over Aubrey and as Aubrey and hits the floor and Davis gets the two. Harris brings the ball up for the running Tigers offense. Evans on the wing, back to Harris. Harris thought about it to Hall. Hall looks for Aubrey and gets it to him. Aubrey and puts it in the corner. And Art Robinson comes up with a rebound for Iowa Western. Davis walks it down the court. Aubrey is on him right away, playing some defense. Davis pushes him off. Evans on the help. DeAndre goes high for the rebound, pushes it up for the Tigers, finds Aubrey on the baseline, hits back of the rim, pops out. Davis comes up with the rebound and slows it down for Iowa Western. Gives it to Price. Price brings it up. Calls a play for Isle Western. I almost lost it, but Rob Ratty comes up with it, drives it in, and takes it right to Cat, scores over him. Harris brings it the other way for Marshalltown. Tigers working the ball around, gets it inside to Aubrey and finds Floyd on the opposite wing, gives it to Evans, back to Hull, to Harris. Evans to right, right all alone, turns baseline, puts it in. Aubrey and right for two. That's Ratty with the ball, finds Thomas Long, gives it to Davis on the run through, and Aubrey and Wright will come up with his fourth personal foul, team eight. Chad Hook checks back in for the MCC Tigers. He replaces Davis, or DeAndre Harris. John Krusey comes in for Aubrey and Wright. Davis at the line, and the other Davis returns to the lineup, as so does Mose for Iowa Western. <laughs> Davis hits the first, first free throw. Is another one coming. Second one's up and down. Second free throw is good by Davis. Hook now brings the ball up the court against Price. Floyd takes it to the hoop all by himself and gets smacked in the head. Fouls on 32, Davis. His second. Team fourth. Floyd Hall at the line for Marshalltown, shooting two. First one's good. Second one up and rolls out. Rebounds snared by Al Western, and Davis brings it up the court. Inside Davis, working on Ryan Johnson, back out, back inside, baseline, rolls in and out. Floyd Hall pushes it up, gives it to Hook, who pushes it up to Kruzik. Kruzik over to Evans, Evans to Hook. Good ball movement by the Tigers as they go to set up their offense. Floyd Hall is posting up Little Davis inside. Pass to Josh Evans to 
Jan Kuzik stolen by Mose. Now the benches are even as each one has a technical. It's a foul called on 22, Jeremy Price, for a reach in. Chad Hook. That's Price's first foul, team fifth. First technical on the bench for Iowa Western. Chad Hook shoots free throws, makes one. We've got another one coming. It's good also. Tigers get the ball back at half court. Full Floyd Hall inbounds it to Chad Hook, who brings it up and sets up the offense for the Tigers. Evans on the wing, back to Hook, back to Hall. Guards swinging the ball around good for the Tigers. Looking inside as Iowa Western's packing the zone in the lane. Working the shot clock, trying to get a good shot. Chad tried to penetrate, lost it to Jeremy Price. They have a charge foul on number 12 from Iowa Western. John Kuzik stepped up and took the foul. No, the foul was called on Chad Hook. That's Chad Hook's second foul, team ninth. As Hook got him from behind, John Kuzik will have a seat as Lawrence Snodgrass returns to the ball game. Davis misses his first free throw. Um, Johnson and Floyd F Hall fight for the rebound. Hook running the offense for the Tigers. Johnston on a wing with the ball. Evans at the key. Lawrence at up top now to Hall on the wing. Back to Hook up top. Hook will take the three and drain it. Three-pointer by Chad Hook. Long pass for Iowa Western to break the press. 32 shoot, 32 Davis shoots over Cat for two. Chad Hook running the offense for the Tigers. Finds Evans on a wing. Tigers looking inside. Lawrence up top with the ball. Flines Holt on the baseline. He'll take the short jumper and miss. Going high for the rebound for Iowa Western. Mose finds Robinson. Back to Mose for two. <laughs> Iowa Western wants a timeout. In for the Tigers, 20, Matt Noel, and 14, DeAndre Harris. With 4.50 remaining in the ball game, it's a nine point lead for the Tigers, 69 to 60.
A reminder that the MCC Lady Tigers will be taking on Graceland's JV Monday night in a women's only game here in Marshalltown at 7 o'clock. The MCC women are ranked ninth nationally in the last AP poll. Evans inbounds to Harris. Harris will bring the ball up for the Tigers. Tigers running their offense and would like to run some clock off right now. DeAndre really working Davis, who is gardening man to man. Noel in the corner. Evans up top, drives in, gets rejected. And Iowa Western comes up with the ball. Raddy gets his hands on it and gives it up. Davis takes a fadeaway jump line, jump shot from the baseline, puts it in the corner, and DeAndre Harris brings it up for the Tigers. Noel for three. In and out. Davis right around Harris. And now Tigers want a timeout. 3.42 left in the ball game. Lead now is down to seven, 69-62. Iowa Western fighting back. Tigers ball after the timeout. The MCC Tigers trying to hang on to their lead. DeAndre brings the ball up for Tigers, gives it some odd grass, finds Noel on a backdoor cut as Noel scores two. In for MCC is Evans, Snidegrass, Wright, Harris, and Noel. Davis drives down the lane and scores. Harris will take his time getting the ball up the court as the Tigers would like to run some clocks so they could hang on to this win. Matt Noel steps on the line and turns the ball over for the Tigers. On tight defensive pressure. In for the Tigers is Chad Hook, number 12, and 54, Ryan Big Cat Johnson. Davis brings the ball up the court for the Iowa Western. Davis on the base, on the wing, talking to Ryan. Ryan. Gets a foul as Davis takes it to him. That's Ryan's third foul. Team 10th. Econ Davis at the line. To shoot two, first one's good. Second one's up and rolls in. Hook brings the ball up for the Tigers. He's guarded by Davis, who he just blows Davis away. Chad Hook's quick for six foot. Chad Hook's listed at six foot one, and he's a quick point guard. 
touch foul on Davis. This first one on number 12 and the sixth team foul. Tigers got the ball out of bounds on the sideline. Inbounded by Noel to Hook. Hook takes Davis. Davis picks up his second, team seventh, as Hook drives the ball inside. Number 22, Floyd Hall checks back into the lineup for Matt Noel. Chad Hook hits the first one of a one and one. Number 20, Matt Thompson checks back in for Iowa Western. Rob Raddy will have a seat as Chad Hook prepares for a second free throw. It's good also. With 2.10 remaining, the Tigers lead 73 to 66. As a long pass to Davis up the court who's guarded by Johnson. Reaching foul on Lawrence Snodgrass. His third, team 11th. Sends Davis to the line to shoot two. First one's good. Second one rattles its way home. Evans and bounces to Hook. Hook will bring it up against Davis, looking for a trap, gives it to Hall at the top of the key, finds Evans on a wing. Chad comes and gets the ball from Evans and takes it right to the hole. Short jumper, Evan, re Hook rebounds his own shot and takes it back out and sets it back up. And finds Hall on the wing. Hole gives it back to Hook. Find, Hook finds Snidegrass up top. Snidegrass doesn't want it. Gives it back to Hook. Hook looking inside. Finds Hall on the baseline. Hole gets tied up. They call jump ball. It stays Tiger basketball. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Evans makes his way to the hoop and scores for the Tigers. R Robinson brings the ball up and he hits hard as Cat, Big Cat steps in to take the charge. Big collision under the hoop. Chad draws the foul off Davis. I believe they gave it to 32. That's the eighth team foul on Iowa Western. That's 32's three. Hook hits the first of the one and one with 52 seconds remaining. It's 76 to 68. Chad Hook at the line to shoot his second one. Ball stolen by Chad Hook, who gives it to Hall. Hall takes it inside and is called for a charge. Floyd Hall is called for a charge. It should have gone to 44. Mazav, who hugged him, they say Hall charged right in there. That is, that is Hall's first personal and a really bad call in this uh, broadcaster's opinion. 
Cat comes up with the rebound. Hustles after it. Isle Western wants a timeout. With 27 seconds left, it's a 77 to 70 ball game. Marshalltown has a seven point lead. And that last call got the MCC crowd riled up. MCC's ball after the timeout. Shot clock was, is off with 27 seconds remaining on the game clock. MCC has a lead of seven by 77. And I say these MCC fans are not real happy with the officials tonight in this ball game. We have a reach-in foul on number 12, Davis. That's his third. Team ninth sends Hook to the line. Mike's working the official. On the inbounds play, Chad Hook had his jersey almost ripped right off of him by an Iowa Western play. And Mike wants to know why. And the first free throw is good by Chad Hook as 22, Jeremy Price checks back in. Second one's up and good by Chad Hook. Pressure still applied by MCC. Davis taking Johnson, short three. Mose was in there to in rebound. Timeout by Iowa Western. 10 seconds left on the clock. MCC leads 79 to 72. It's MCC's ball after the timeout taken by Iowa Western. Evans inbounds to Snodgrass, back to Evans. Evans to Hook, Hook to Johnson, Johnson to Floyd. Floyd alley oop to Lawrence. Alley Lawrence was gonna slam it, but he said it not to. That's the ball game. MCC wins 79 to 72. 